Hello friends, I'm back with a new video. Actually, we are discussing IELTS cue cards one by one. Today, I included both part one questions and part three questions along with an IELTS cue card. Okay, if you find it useful, please like, share and subscribe our channel as a big support. And please feel free to comment below about your opinions because we need your valuable comments to improve our content. So please support us and let's move to the video now. One, two, three, come on! Okay guys, let's start our part 1 questions, our warm up questions. Actually, I think you don't want any assistance for part 1 questions because this is very simple. Uh, you can handle it. However, I'm posting some sample answers, okay? Let's see concentration now. When do you concentrate? Oh, um, whenever I do an important work or study, I need a deep concentration to complete it without any errors. Do you find it difficult to concentrate? No, I can concentrate effectively without any alteration during my studies as well as my work. Do you think you can do two things at the same time? Yes, of course. I can do multiple things at a time like I can do cooking while listening to music and I can draw pictures while singing uh, and many more. How do you concentrate? Actually, I completely focus on my task to get more concentration and I am practicing yoga to increase my concentration which helps me to concentrate deeply. Next is water sport. Have you done water sports? Yes, indeed. I have tried swimming many times which is beneficial to relax our mind and reduce the extreme fat accumulation in our body. What water sports you like doing? Okay, I like swimming and kayaking. Both are interesting water games to pass our free time. What kind of water sports do you want to try? You know, I want to try scuba diving. That's my great dream because I would like to explore the oceanic world. Next one is science class. Do you like science? Yeah, science is one of my favorite subjects. I got more than 90% mark in my science subjects like physics, chemistry and biology in my higher secondary examination. Did you have science class in primary school? Yes, I have studied the basics of science in my primary classes like the science behind the formation of rainbow, the parts of human body and some basic things about plants. What kind of science did you do at school? In fact, we did many scientific experiments in our school as part of uh, my science syllabus. We studied about many kinds of science subjects such as botany, zoology, physics and chemistry. Do you think science classes are important? Yes, we should learn about the subject science to know about the fundamental reasons of all the natural phenomena around us. Okay guys, now it's the time to discuss our cue card. Let's see what are the questions. What would you like to change at the place where you live? So this is our main question and we have some sub questions as well. How you can do it? What obstacles could come? Why you want to make the change? These are the three sub questions we have. Now let's see the pen 7 plus sample answer. Well, I live in a place with all the basic facilities for the welfare of the public. However, I would like to change the small public park into a spacious one so that people of all age groups can spend their leisure time in the park. First of all, I need to get permission from the authority to revamp our small park into a large one. It I think it's not a small task, but I'll try to get it definitely for the natives to do some recreational activities, which not only relax their mind, but also rejuvenate it. Actually, 
while enlarging our park i need to get cooperation from the public as well as the legal officers to fulfill the formalities which will be the greatest problem i need to face uh, during the process you know now we have a small park with only two benches to sit and don't have a single ride to play for the kids the total space is around 30 to 40 meters which is neither useful to adults nor for kids a recreational facility like a playground is inevitable to reduce the stress from the tedious work or study environment therefore i believe that a spacious park in my hometown can be useful for adults children and senior citizens to pass their time effectively okay this is the end of cue card now we are going to discuss part 3 questions it needs more clarification so you have to support and develop your answer with the help of an example let's see the questions now what is the best place to communicate with people in my opinion people can communicate anywhere in a public place except a noise restricted area like a court but the preference is vary from person to person most of them like to interact with each other in a common place like a park beach market and even in the middle of the road for instance my grandma is a talkative person she always like to go to the public park to chat with her friends why it is important to communicate for people as far as i understand communication plays an inevitable role to share ideas and thoughts between two or more people and as a human being social interaction is an unavoidable part of our daily routine for example as a social animal we need either verbal or nonverbal communication to fulfill our basic needs like food water and shelter or to ask any help from others does technology impact the way people communicate in what way yes certainly yes technological advancement reduced the effort of distant communication to be termized in olden days it took more time to share an information in the form of letters which is now possible within a span of minute due to the advanced technology and equipment like a mobile phone internet and satellites Okay, all right. This is the end of today's session. And if you like my video, please support me through your valuable subscriptions and comments. And don't forget to like and share our videos. Tomorrow, I'll be back with a new video. Please don't miss it. And hearty thanks for watching and supporting my channel. Thank you.